Question six. The volume of a liquid in a container is given by that formula there, where H is the depth of the liquid. Find the value of dV by dH. So this is just asking to differentiate it. Um, we've got V is 3x squared plus 4. Now, um, however you do your calculations using the chain rule, you might want to do it by uh, the big bear, little bear method. So this is this is something inside the power, uh, the function inside something for three over two. So the big bear, thanks Sam, is um, is something for three over two. So that becomes three over two times the something to the half. So uh, we've got three over two times the something to the half times the little bear. But inside the bracket, differentiated, that would be 6x. 6 6 H -E. Of course, 8 is going to go to 0 when we differentiate. So that's where we are. Let's tidy this up a bit. We've got 1 and a half times 6, which is? Nine. <laughs> right. Um, three x squared. Three x squared plus four to the half. The question said, find the value of this when h is 0 0.6. Sorry. You're missing an h. I'm missing an h. Oh, I am. Yeah, we've got the six h there. Thanks, Cameron. Small bottle. My favourite six h. <laughs> 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 Are we correct now? We're good, we're good. As long as you are happy. Right. If H equals, uh, if H equals 0.6, we're going to sub that in, and it's going to give us our value. It did say correct two decimal places, so we're not looking for, um, not looking for anything other than just a numerical value. Would anybody do this and get the right answer? Oh, yeah. wow. Thank you, Dan. Um, Dan, I can't read this. Dan got 12.17. Great. And it is volume per hour. Um, volume per time. Is that, is that what we've done? I know it's not. It's volume per height. It's a bit of an odd unit of measurement. So I'm not going to bother with that. We've got, we've got M cubed per M. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Um, part two. Liquid is leaking from the container. Yikes. It's observed that when the depth of the liquid is 0.6, so this is, again, this is all about interpreting what the question says and turning that into some kind of differential equation expression. So um, it's observed that when the depth is 0.6, so let's work out what we've got here. When, when h is 0.6, we are told that the depth is decreasing at a rate of 0.015. That's the depth is h. So that's dh by dt. And it's decreasing, so it's minus 0.015. We're supposed to find the rate at which the volume is decreasing at the instant when its depth is 0.6. So that's the rate of, of decrease of the height. We already know that dv by dh at that instant is 12.17 and we need to find the rate at which the volume is decreasing so dv by dt well this is the chamber isn't it we've got three expressions here we've got v appearing on the top twice we've got um, t appearing on the bottom twice so if we've tried to link these together we would have dv by dt is dv by dh times dh by dt. And by the chain rule, that must be true. Well, we already know these things. We've already got that dv by dh is 12.17. dh by dt is minus 0.015. We multiply them together. Um, 0.183. And actually, it's minus 0.183, isn't it? Because we've got that as a line side there. Um, and the question says find the rate at which the volume is decreasing. So the rate of decrease 
is 0.183, whatever it is, this is volume per something per hour. So it's meters cubed per H something. Okay. Um, that that kind of confusion there about the positive minus sign. They were quite relaxed about that in the math scheme. They let you uh, get away with it either way, as long as you just apply what you use. Okay. Um, all right. Whenever you're ready to stop the video, that, that would be great as well.